Hey everyone, so this is deriving the density of state function. Um, it gives us, well, it wants us to use the equation for energy for a three-dimensional box, which is derived in an earlier problem. It gives, And we have the uh, density of state function, which is actually uh, per unit volume. So what we're dealing with is um, this abstract number space for the quantum numbers nx, ny, and nz. Um, <clears throat> there, for each inter integer value combination, there's a there's a dot in that position. So we're we're dealing in this constraint. So those those numbers are all uh, positive. Um, Except possibly for zero. So I'll, I'll just put that in there. So it, it's forming, you know, kind of an array in within this abstract uh, quantum number space. So the spacing between each of them is a unit length of one because they're integer spacing. So they're, it's like having these abstract cubes being carved out in the space. Uh, the density of um, states is um, you have you have a you can define a, a radial distance in terms of those quantum numbers and then a difference in that distance and so you get this kind of uh, shell and the number of states count them up within uh, that differential width uh, corresponds directly to the uh, number of allowed states uh, if you're within a differential range of energy. Um, so that, that's the general situation that we're dealing with. So it wants us to re-express, uh, this equation, um, as, as n squared equals, uh, nx squared plus ny squared plus nz squared. So that just amounts to removing the physical dimensions from energy. So, um, at, when all the quantum numbers are at their uh, base level, uh, we just have um, e naught is is uh, this this here. So like like we just need to divide that out. Hmm. So we need um, we need an expression like this. So E naught, we're defining as H bar squared, I squared, 2 ML squared. So that contains all the physical dimensions. So you're dividing that out of the equation 42.18. So this, this is um, just equation 42.18 with that divided out of it. So that means n is equal to e sorry uh, I meant to do this because this uh, this over here nx squared plus ny squared plus nz squared is part of the equation for e so we're dividing out e naught so so that's that's what we're dealing with that's what n equals because we need to find n for the next for the next step so um, you can see that's true by definition because you're just taking this equation 
and dividing out the part that I have the red arrow pointing to and it only leaves the part I have the green arrow pointing to. Um, so then the next part we're showing that the number of allowed states uh, within some differential range of, of energy is equal to this relationship of the number of uh, um, quantum numbers n within a differential range in the quantum number space. And n is related to energy like this. So, so we have number G D E equals number quantum number space. So that is the <clears throat> Sort of finding the number within a shell like that. <clears throat> so it's um, we want to leave this dn term on the side. So uh, this term here is really going to be a surface area times dn. So what we're dealing here is this is um, like a spherical shell, but the problem is we're restricted to only positive numbers. So, let's see if I can illustrate illustrate this a little bit. So, if that were x, y, and z, Uh, these greens are the negative directions. Um, <clears throat> so the we're only talking about the the quadrant with the with the positives here. We're dealing in this part. So this part, this part, this part, and then. So that's on the top level. Then the entire level underneath it um, is not either. So so top half, and bottom half. So there's um, four down here, and four up here, four quadrants on the lower half of the Z direction, four on the positive Z direction, and we're only using one quadrant in the top half. So we're only using one eighth of sphere surface. So that means that this becomes one over eight times the surface of the sphere. This is, remember radius, um, however you want, I'm just calling it N space, the quantum number space. So that becomes four pi N squared, um, but then that's just the surface area elements, the difference, so it's a volume. So that's what you get. And we're leaving it in this form. <clears throat> Sorry if there was any background noise just then. Uh, so this becomes one half pi n squared dn 
which is what the problem was looking for. So then it wants you to substitute uh, this n up here into this equation that we just derived. So that becomes so one half pi e divided by e naught, and then this um, this differential here. I don't know if this mathematics is entirely proper, but you have a differential. Um, you have this term within parentheses exponent. You're doing a chain rule on it. So that becomes um, times. So you're bringing the one half power down. Um, the original term stays like this. You get minus one half up here. Then you're multiplying by the derivative of the inside. Uh, and E naught is a constant, but E is variable. Um, so we bring the constant out. So let's see, so that becomes pi over four, then um, so you have one over e naught times one over e naught one um So e naught minus one half there times over e naught, and then that is times that. So that becomes pi over four times uh, one over e naught to the three halves. times e to the one half de. So we know e naught up here, it's defined as this. So that's where all the weird nasty constants come from. So Let's see, so that becomes two three halves times three halves L cubed. So that is equivalently expressed as, um, so you can pull the two out, so you get square root of two over two. And this uh, M is, 
is the electron mass. Uh, I'm not going to try to write a subscript on it. So then we have, let's see, so that is G. So that's the form of the um, equation that the problem's looking for. So then, so given that they're, given that there are two spins allowed per So we have this number of allowed states uh, equation up here, but to find the per unit volume, we have to divide by V, and that will give us this lowercase g uh, function, that, which is the final form we actually want. Uh, and two allowed per energy level, uh, that means we're multiplying this by two, because there's effectively twice as many states as uh, what we derive because spin can be spin up or spin down. So let's see, um, so equation 42.9, notice that it isn't in terms of H bar, it's terms of H. So we have to do that conversion first. So let's take this equation and convert it out of uh, reduce Planck's constant and turn it into just Planck's constant. So h bar cubed is h cubed 2 pi cubed. So let's see, we have So that's the equation we have right here. So I won't rewrite it. So we have square root of two over two. Uh, then that means we're bringing up a two pi cubed term. This just becomes h cubed. Uh, then we have our m three halves l cubed. pi squared, one half d. So that is square root of two over two times eight pi cubed over pi squared. All right, so that goes away and that turns to just pi. Uh, so that becomes so I'm gonna leave it in that in that form. Uh, you'll see why I did that in a second. Okay.
So if there are two spins per E, so we have to multiply that whole thing. Uh, Hmm. So, um, what we're really dealing in is, is this. So that this is just two, it cancels out this two in the denominator there. So lastly, since GE is equal to G divided by V, But this is um, a particle in the box situation. That, that's where our energy equation came from. So that is just one over L cubed times G D. So this this term here, this L cubed term, divides out. That's just, that's just 8 over square root, times square root of 2, mass of the electron to 3 halves. Um, cubed E, 1 half. And that is the form the uh, problem wanted, and so that's the full derivation.